So a while ago, I was looking for a way to cast my Android screen on my computer and all the popular suggestions I found on the internet, well, they were not good enough. For instance, most of the screen mirroring apps have ads or watermark, while the rest one have unjustified price. And this let me wondering, how come this common problem has no simple solution? So I started doing my research and finally found a very simple solution. It's free, works on every platform and there is no intrusive ads. In fact, it can work wirelessly even without a Wi-Fi, which apparently no other Android app can do right now. And the best part is, or should I say worst, is no one on the internet is talking about this application. And I won't even blame them. I had this application on my phone for like 2 years now and even I didn't know you can use it to cast your Android screen on computer. So which is this application? Well, let's find out. Hi there, this is Vina once again and in this video we are going to see a very simple way to cast your Android screen on your computer. Now if you are only interested in the workaround then click on the timestamp appearing on the screen right now. However, I will highly recommend you watch the entire video so that you know what other options do we have and why you should not use them. And trust me, it's going to be interesting. I had lot of fun doing the research. So with that being said, let's get started. Number 1 Chromecast so the first thing that comes to our mind when we talk about screen mirroring on a big screen is Chromecast, a $50 device from Google. The good thing about Chromecast is it has the least latency compared to other solution. Heck, I was even able to play my games wirelessly, which is not possible in any other available options. However, the only downside is you cannot use Chromecast on your laptops and MacBook. The next popular option is wireless display. Now if you are one of those lucky ones who can see enable wireless display option in the cast settings then you can use the windows connect feature to directly cast your android screen on your windows computer. You don't need any software. But it's not that easy. I have tried this on 4 different android smartphones from Motorola, Samsung to Pixel and this feature didn't work in none of them. So there are less chances that it will work for you as well. The next popular option is to use our screen mirroring apps like Allcast, MirrorGo, or Visor etc. And if you have ever used this application on the Play Store, then you will notice two things. One, all of these applications have around 1 million downloads. And second, each one of them have around 3.5 rating, which is like saying this app doesn't work actually. So why is that? Well, the first reason is these applications have intrusive ads and watermark. And even after that, it doesn't work all the time. And it's not actually the developer fault. For instance, I was using Allcast app and it worked fine on my Mac but when I tried it on my Windows computer, it didn't get detected. I found many people who has rated this application low has the same problem and after checking the description of the app, I saw it was because of Windows Firewall. So once I disable the Windows Firewall or you can also add an exception, the app works just fine. Still it's not a prettiest solution since there is a watermark and ads. So for any other reason, if you want to use a screen mirroring application, then I will recommend screen stream mirroring over all cast. It works with the browser, so at least you don't have to configure your firewall settings. Or even use the app that I have suggested in my previous video, that is a power mirror, which when used with the USB, you can also control your Android device from your computer. But still, all these applications have ads, limited free version and high price. And after getting frustrated from all the available options, I finally found a simple solution. It's AirDroid. Yes, you can use AirDroid to cast your Android screen on your computer. Let me show you how. So head over to Google Play on your Android smartphone and open the AirDroid app. Now this part is important and also awesome. So if you are new to AirDroid, then you can either create a new account or skip it. So if you have both your computer and Android under the same Wi-Fi network, like if you're sitting in your home and want to share some pictures with your family on your computer, then you can use Wi-Fi option, no need to sign up. So once you enter the app, you will see an IP address in the Android app. Now type that in your computer browser. It doesn't matter if it's a Windows, Mac, Linux or even a Chromebook. As long as it is a web browser, you're good to go. And then press enter and confirm the login on your phone. And there we go. Now the next part is quite unobvious. There is no direct screen casting option here which I will ask the developer after making this video. But anyways, for now on you will need to tap on this screenshot icon and it will send a confirmation on your android. Press ok and there you have it, your entire android screen on your computer. And the best part is it works flawlessly all the times. It's free and there are no ads popping around. Also there is a watermark but it's in the side of the screen and not on the screen. 
Now let's consider another case. Say you want to give a quick presentation for a conference and there is no Wi-Fi connection. Well then you will have to create a new Android account and then turn on your mobile data. Now open up your computer web browser and this time type in web.android.com and then log into the same Android account and that's it. The latency will depend on your internet connection but shouldn't be a problem on 4G or higher. Overall, Android is the only app that can do all this awesome stuff for free and yet no one is talking about it. Well, this is all for now. It's quite funny to see how companies are selling mediocre apps for high prices when they know there is a better solution that is doing it for free. One word, marketing. And this is not the first time it's happening. If you check out my other videos on simple way to do things, then you will see this pattern keeps on repeating. So if you're a blogger or a YouTuber watching this video, then please make sure you do your research right. Because when you don't, people end up spending money and time when they don't have to. And it's your job to guide them. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I may not be able to reply to each comment, but I do read every one of them. Also, if you like my research, then go ahead and smash the like button. That really helps. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more awesome stuff. So that's it for now. This is Munal signing off. And like always, thank you for watching.